weekend. In the run-up to the ballot, opposition figure Alexei Navalny was urging tactical voting to try to unseat the governing United Russia party. But he was then poisoned with the nerve agent Novichok and is currently recovering in a Berlin hospital. And as Evelyn Laverick reports, although his party is claiming individual victories, President Vladimir Putin's party is claiming to have won the most seats overall. Russia's main pro-Kremlin party is claiming a sweeping victory in local polls, while allies of opposition leader Alexei Navalny say they've clinched several symbolic wins. A spokesperson for United Russia said, according to exit polls, all its candidates for governor were well ahead and set to win majorities in all regional legislatures. But the opposition claims it's won seats in Siberian cities, including in Tomsk, despite numerous reports of irregularities. The polls come only weeks after the suspected poisoning of opposition leader Navalny with Novichok. His team had urged people to vote tactically against United Russia. The anti-corruption foundation-backed candidates it saw as best place to unseat the incumbents of the ruling party, which it describes as the party of crooks and thieves. This is an opportunity to show the whole of Russia that it is possible for democratic and opposition forces to unite and defeat United Russia in the elections. It is to show that it works that way. I voted for alternative candidates, not for those we were always offered, because we have to change something and avoid stagnation. When you look at the state of the street, everything is neglected and nobody cares. United Russia dominates the federal parliament and many regional administrations. President Vladimir Putin is the de facto leader. But these elections are being seen as a test of both the popularity, which has dropped amid an economic crisis exacerbated by the coronavirus pandemic. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.